You want to pray effectively. He said the effectual, effective, accurate, fervent. So now we know part of the key to prayer is that you have to really want it. This can't just be something in passing. See, we, you've already learned this and might not have realized what you were learning whenever I was teaching a while back on uh, the topic of what wilt thou that I should do unto you. Because that word will didn't just mean, well, you know, what do you want? No, you know, what's on your mind? No, no, no. That word will means what is your intense desire? What is your intention? What do you expect? Right? And it has to do, in other words, it wasn't just a matter of, okay, what can I do for you? And being polite, it was, no, what do you will that I should do for you? In other words, I'll do it for you if you're really willing it. But if you're just haphazard about it. See, this is why, this, this is why most people's prayers aren't answered. Most Christians' prayers aren't answered. Why? Because they're not fervent. They're not accurate. They're not effectual. Because they don't go after it. And it means that. And if it doesn't happen, oh, well, I got a backup plan. Don't worry. That's not the way prayer works. But the way, first thing you have to do is find out exactly what you need done. And then you need to find out, okay, is that promised? Did God promise that he would meet that, that problem? And then that means you need to go back and find it is written. And you need to be able to apply it is written to that need. And whenever you gather that, see, it's, it's almost like a lawyer going to court. He has to prepare his case. And to prepare that case, he has to have law and precedent he looks back and says, well, you, here is this case, and this was going on, and you did this. And it's the same thing with God. God said, here, let us come together. Let us reason together. He said, plead your case. And so it is up to us to go to God, not just going to go, oh, God, I just need help, and I believe you're good because you're, you know, you're a good father, so I think you'll do it. God said, I would love to do it, but that's not the basis See, the basis is faith. And you can't have faith if you don't know that that's my will. And people say, well, I got that covered. I just pray, Lord, if it be thy will. And God says, uh, no, that's not the way it works. Find my will, remind me of my will, and then pray that in faith, expecting that it has already been paid for and it's already done, and now you are receiving it today yourself. Amen. And when you do that, you start to get answers. It is a shame that most Christians, you know why most Christians don't pray? Because they have prayed and didn't get an answer. And so then they quit praying. But if you know how to get your prayers answered, and I'm not talking about manipulating God. I'm talking about enforcing his will on this earth or on your situation. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about going in there and, you know, twisting his arm. Because believe me, you get an arm wrestling case with God, you're going to lose, <laughs> right? 